Here at Denison, we love the water. The way it never does the same thing twice, how it plays with the light, and how many secrets it holds for us under its ever-changing surface. With something so mythologically intriguing, it's always best to slow down and take your time. There are, however, exceptions to this rule. Enshrined in the history of the fast boat are a small handful of builders and designers that stand tall above the rest. Midnight Express is a name that is synonymous with speed, and this 2018 Midnight Express 43 Open demonstrates that these are more than just fast boats. As we make our way through the ins and outs of Midnight Moon 2, you may be surprised at how much is packed into this highly specced powerboat. Let's start with her dimensions. At 43 feet, she is incredibly dry. We ran her at high speeds in the open ocean for several hours this morning, and nothing at all came in over the bow or the sides. Her length allows for a lot of seating and entertaining space. There's seating for 12 and more than enough standing room for a few plus ones. She has a 12 and a half foot beam, which is class leading and makes walking around the boat easy when you're out with several guests. Combine this with her twin step hull and you've got a boat that can do it all. Aft are quad 400R Verado racing motors by Mercury. These give her a breathtaking top speed of 85 miles per hour in perfect conditions and give her an easy cruise of 55. Her top speed when fully loaded is 75. I'm not sure if you've been on plane and running at over 70 miles an hour, but I highly recommend it. It makes runs from South Florida to the Bahamas seem unbearably slow on anything else. Her hull design allows her to easily eat up three to four foot waves and does so in a way that keeps guests comfortable. You always feel in control and safe. This stability and safety are also ensured by her Sea Keeper gyroscopic stabilizer. Forward of her motors are a pair of insulated fish boxes, adding another dimension to what this boat can do. In the aft section is what can be used as a wet bar or a bait prep station, depending on what you're doing that day. Below the sink is a fridge, as well as designated tackle storage. On the port side is a dive door with a swim ladder. This makes it effortlessly easy to get back in the boat before running to the next spot. On the starboard side, she has an integrated step. The primary seating space is found midship. Aft of the helm are two rows of substantial, comfortable seating. These intricate and durably stitched seats are designed to make you feel safe and they do just that. Next, we're gonna look at the helm, which perfectly reflects the rest of this boat's design. The instruments are all mounted into a carbon fiber panel. Featured here are three upgraded 22-inch Garmin multifunction display screens. A cool feature of these screens is the digital switch panel. It's nice to have everything in one place like this. Below the digital switches are a set of redundant manual switches. Above the wheel are analog RPM gauges for each engine. Starboard of these is her bow thruster joystick, as well as autopilot and her Mercury engine throttles. This helm has AC vents that make a surprising difference due to her full windshield. Below the deck, on the other side of an automatic door, is a cabin. On the forward side, there's a berth. Aft, we find a wet head. On the aft bulkhead are battery switches and switch panels, as well as access to the wiring of the helm. Now let's jump back up and continue forward towards the bow. On the forward side of the center console are three long lounge seats. This is an exhilarating space to lay back and enjoy the thrilling speeds and the rush of the wind. Underfoot throughout the entire boat is a marine mat sole. It stays cool all day long and adds a bit of extra comfort. 
There are four hatches on board that hold streamlined, custom Midnight Express fenders. There is a considerable amount of open space on this bow that makes this a semi-private escape. When the bow cushions are removed, storage is revealed below the seating. A table raises electrically from the floor and transforms this seating into an alfresco dinette. The bow features a quick windlass with hideaway cleats to either side. These can be lowered when not in use and help keep her profile sleek and give you one less thing to trip on. This boat flies and she does so in incredible fashion and with utter precision. For the owner who likes to turn the key and go, you're in luck. And for the owner who likes to escape on the weekends, this is the most capable proverbial getaway car. This boat, when it's doing what it does best, provides a white knuckle experience which is hard to replicate. Thanks for joining us on board this Midnight Express 43. If you want to see her in person or want any more information on Midnight Moon 2, you can reach out to David Johnson anytime.